Keane Show all episodes. And the Roy Keane Show today. She's seeing your feckin' nemesis behind your back. Yes. Tell us about the pictures you've discovered. She sent pictures to him of him and her naked in bed with each other. <gasps> oh, nice. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> So he definitely put her in his own trophy cabinet while she was yours, yes or no? Yes. The feckin' langer. Let's get him on. with my trophy. I've had enough. I never took her while she was yours. She is not your trophy anymore, little boy. She is all mine. I left you in December. Gee, was it? Stop stalking me. And Cristiano, as if stealing the love of his life wasn't enough. There's something else you've got to tell Messi about, isn't there? You fucking langer. Go on. Be honest. Tell him. Before I have the Inga Hallinger. What is it? What now? Mmm. Mmm. Oh, mm. nice. Oh, oh Jesus Christ. Oh, oh, no. Not both my loves. I can't take it. He went for the bitch slap. He should have gone for the stamp. I am the best. The most handsome, I am CR7. And we will now live in a polyamorous three-way relationship. Mm. Mm. Well, I hope mm. that you can make that work. And if oh. you can't, then oh. the trophies will have a decision to make in 12 months' time. We're going to ask them to go that way together. Give them a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, nice. Oh, Jesus! Best of luck to them and to Leone's quest to win them back. It would help if you won an international trophy, you feckin' langer. And the Champions League too, you flute. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Join us next week when we reveal the results of Cristiano Jr.'s DNA test. It'll blow your feckin' mind. Good night. What the hell did Zlatan just watch? How can you claim to have saved his united career, you feckin' langer? Nobody calls Slettin feckin' langer. This shit's about to go down. I didn't have that bad a game. <laughs> you couldn't even get a game in China, pretty much. <laughs> I saved your career with my goal. That's how shit you were. What did the big flute do wrong? I missed it. I was at Alfie Inga Helen's house. He tried to catch the ball in his own penalty box. He missed an easy one-on-one. -on -one. And his airstyle was ridiculous. Take air tips from me, Pogba. Because I'm worth it. You're all just jealous because Twitter gave me my own emoji. You will shut up. This is the Roy Keane show, and it's my name on the feckin' wall. Well, that escalated quickly. Stick to your own catchphrases, or else I'm gonna punch you in the ovary. He's coming for you! King's coming for you! Okay, fair enough. Uh, I was bad. But at least I didn't give the shittest performance in the Premier League this weekend. Who was that then, you feckin' langer? City. <laughs> Well done, Paul. That's the best comeback I've witnessed in a United shirt since the 1999 Champions League final. Watch the Roy Keane show next week, where we reveal all about Pep's sex change operation. What? Oh, just assumed you'd do it to disguise the fact you're actually a shite manager, you bollocks. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like the procedure has just begun. See you next week. So why did you push the fourth official, you big lanky streak of French piss? He tried to give me advice on how to zip up my jacket. You always look so handsome in that puffer jacket, dashing French style. I love you. I hope you get a ban for pushing me.
Oh. Jackie, you fucking langer, stealing my moves in my studio. Consider yourself number two on the shit list. Granite Xhaka is really very, very good at football. <laughs> <laughs> That's my funniest joke yet, yeah? Awesome, some advice, please. How do you keep beating these shitty clubs? I inspire my players by being part specialist professor, part bottle-kicking, ref-pushing hooligan. You're a specialist in failure. <laughs> ah! That's it, Shaka, you bollocks. Red turd. Being a hell and take that, you. Put me down, you. Every week, you. Making out you're a nice guy. Now he's crocked. At least we don't have to play with him. He's terrible at football. <laughs> I'm leaving. This is a circus. Just like the FL. <laughs> I hate referees. They're all biased against my team. And mine. And mine. I wish I had that excuse. <laughs> Join us next week when we give all these whinge and feckin' managers a lie detector test to see if any of them are capable of telling the truth about anything. Elfie Inger, Helen, take that, you... Oh, it looks like Jacques is still very much fit. Much like me, this show is f***ing mental, even by Zlatan standards. So we asked the Gorn in German flute whether he gave two shites about the English cup competitions or not. Let's find out. I do give two shices, yeah, but the players are just so tired. No more excuses, you f***ing langer. The lie detector results are in. Is the four-eyed fecker telling the truth? Or lying. He's obviously lying. Just like that puta Dr. Eva. Just like that spineless coward Pep when I was at Barca. <laughs> oh. This ban is killing me. I should be on stage supporting Jürgen. I can reveal that the results of the lie detector say... <laughs> ban him! At least until the end of season! What? It's only a slight graze. He barely touched me. Nothing stops Tino finishing his show. The results say... Clap was telling the truth. He does give two shots. Zoom. Mwah. Mwah. I told you I really care for them. Qua, you're even more insincere than Brendan Rogers. Unlucky, Jürgen. That would never have hit you if it had been a bit more windy in here. <laughs> That's it. I've had it with you bald bastards. Ow! 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 I bet Ow. they won't Ow. get a four game oh. ban. Another dispute happily sorted out thanks to me in the right team show. Well, maybe not that happily. See you next time, you feckin' idiots. Stop sitting on the fence, Antonio, you pasta munching Italian prick, and just admit it, it's over. Uh, no, I cannot, uh, for sure. Uh, say. It's as over as Aguero's city career. Come on here, Conte. You made Arsenal look like little boys. Scheiße, little bitch boys. Leave my little boys alone, Klopp. At least they didn't lose to Hull. Hull away is harder than Watford at home, though, ya? Yeah? Burn! <laughs> there he is again. Wenger the Voyeur, watching from afar. I've had enough of this. Damn you, Joseph! Whoa. What a surprise. He's collapsed again. Boom. And you'd know all about that, Mr. No League Wins in 2017. Come on, Asen. Time to go. Never. Time to go! What about you, Pachettino, you dull fecker? You never say anything interesting. Now's your chance, you flute. We take it uh, one game at a time. Ah, for feck's sake. Who's right keen supposed to get big ratings like Kyle Springer and Wogan if none of you say anything worthwhile? Admit it, Conte. Just admit it. For once. Now. Okay, uh, I admit it. I've had three air transplants. <gasps> 
I knew it. He has such lovely flowing locks. Oh, he's fit. Do you have a number? No, not that. Ah, feck it. Consider yourselves all kneecapped. Ow! 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 I bet you don't get banned for that. No Englishman would go down after being kneecapped with a baguette. Bloody foreigners! Wish someone would build a wall here like that legend Trump. Good night. So, who's got a question for this arrogant permatant prick? So, they all have questions for me, the best footballer the universe has ever seen. Yes, Liner. How does it feel knowing I'm taking the Champions League trophy away from you? And how does it feel knowing I won an international tournament and the Ballon d'Or? <gasps> Oh, I haven't seen a born that bad since Carlos Tevez's face. That's out of order! Shut up, you! I have a question! What is the funniest joke in the whole of football? Messi's international career? <laughs> <laughs> nice try, Ronald, you Portuguese preening prawn! But no, it is not Messi! The answer is, of course, Arsenal! <laughs> That is a shite joke, Muller, despite its obvious underlying truth. I would be angry with that joke if we weren't about to get dicked by Bayern. Again? Again. So who will win the Champions League this season? Leicester! <laughs> That's more like it, Thomas. Great joke. Even I have to laugh at Leicester, and I've never laughed before. Ha! <laughs> I will destroy everyone who laughed at Lester. You can't do that to my wife. Need reinforcement. Ah! What? What? To laugh at Lester. That's the kind of desire that will win us the Champions League. Typical Messi, defeated with a bottle job. <laughs> She'll be mine again. Shut shit! What the hell? Get back! What the hell? No! Not the face! Not the face! Uh, or not the legs! And not the abs! Definitely not the abs! Mind you, my abs are so strong, they may well survive a bottling. Go for the abs! Oh, you racist, useless, underperforming puta! Can we swap shirts? It is covered in blood and fake tan? But okay, my ego says yes. Oh, stop flirting back there, you flutes. See you next week. How can you defend that Champions League resort? It was a feckin' disgrace. I thought we were okay at first. You thought you'd paid your taxes. <laughs> your flutes were lazy, complacent, and had no bite up front. <laughs> For feck's sake, the other week me arm, now me leg. Lucky my limbs mysteriously grow back. You're being unfair. PSG were just better than us on the night. Shut up, you Brazilian buffoon. PSG are nothing without Zlatan. My Ibra is right. It was not PSG. It was you lot. In fact, you were even worse than... Arsenal. <gasps> <gasps> Why are they so mean about us? Because, despite being very, very good looking, we are also, I'm afraid, shit. We can turn it around in the second leg. <laughs> I think we can too. <gasps> okay, that's just feckin' ridiculous. I'm fed up with people talking absolute bollocks on this show. The next person who does, We'll get that Dublin smile. Just try it. I don't think we'll get relegated. Bollocks, you! I'll talk some sense. Bollocks, you! I have a good work rate. Bollocks! Roy, there's no need for this. You're a really nice person. Bollocks! Nobody calls me a nice person. And that was for your shithouse performance this week. And your shite beard. My darling, Lynn, come to Manchester. I will protect you from this nasty, bearded TV terrorist. Bollocks! I'm done with the lot of you. Teen out. The lie detector results are in.
Make sure you edit that kiss out. Even though I quite liked it. Reminded me of Brian Clough. Just stare up and give us the results, will ya? Me drink's getting cold. All right, you Chevy feck. The question was, did the Leicester City players tell the chairman to sack Claudio Ranieri? And the results say... This show should not be about these losers. <laughs> This program must be about Zlatan and how Zlatan single-handedly won the FA Cup for Zlatan Chester United. It was the EFL Cup, you feckin' flute. Who cares? It will now be called the Zlatan Cup forevermore. Why are you so arrogant? You don't wear fake tan, you don't have your own range of pants, and you don't advertise six-pack body revolution! Available now! Unbelievable! Zlatan just happens to be the biggest and best player football will ever have. You couldn't do it at Barcelona though, could you, Big Nose? <laughs> Big Nose! Oh, <laughs> so funny! Consider that joke stolen! Hey, Harry! You have Big Nose too! Because it grows every time I score a hat trick. <laughs> Why you are you all laughing when you can't understand a word he says, for feck's sake? I assume he said Zlatan is God. Despite it looking like Zlatan lost that fight, Zlatan, in fact, was victorious. Now back to those results. I can reveal the Leicester players did tell the chairman to sack Claudio Ranieri. They're all lying feckin' snakes! Did someone say snake bite? Join us next week for more unparalleled intellectual football debate. Good night. You stamp on Slatin's head, you get Slatin. So you admit you elbowed him on purpose then, you Swedish flute. No, like Slatin said, Mings jumped into Slatin's elbow. Ridiculous! That's like saying this is not on purpose. Ah! This smells delicious. This is the second world-class sub you created this week. <laughs> First Asin drops Alexis. Now he assaults this special needs boy with a Bradley weapon. Asin's the boss as finally... Lost it. Slat on you feckin' langer. Maybe you'd be so kind to show us exactly what is a foul in your eyes. No problem. Line up for Zlatan, football idiots. What the feck are you doing? Watch this, bearded Irish Santa. Oh! Oh! Oh, why? Why would you do that? That naughty foul. Also, stop crying, you Portuguese pussy. Ow! What Zlatan just did to Messi. Also, not a foul. I will never play in England. <laughs> Don't tell me. No foul. Definitely not. These players need to stop going down so easily. Be as strong as Zlatan. <laughs> in which case, that's not a foul either, you feckin' liar. <laughs> no, that is a foul. <laughs> Holy shite! He's bitten your langer off! It's okay. Zlatan has two langers, and they're both bigger than yours, small Irish Abraham Lincoln. Oh, kneecapping isn't a foul either. Consider yourself Alfie Inga Hallandin. Good night. We asked the viewers if that was the greatest comeback of all time, or if you three are just a bunch of diving, cheating feckers, and the results... Are in. For feck's sake, Patrick, if I didn't secretly respect you so much, I'd have snapped you where you stand. We're the greatest front three in history. We won this game all by ourselves. I'm confident the results will show that. After all, everybody loves me. I don't. And I would never cheat. Hey, Spires! Ah! Ring any bells? Ah! Enough of the japes. I didn't ask to hear what you think. Well, except for when I asked if you think these three are cheats or not, and the results are... Oh, for feck's sake. Unbelievable. All right, as much as I think it's for flutes, feckers, and the Pogba brothers, let's head to social media instead. Here's one from Rare G. Siberto, 65. 
What an incredible comeback. All thanks to Sergio Roberto. What an exciting player. What about this one from Lergi Liberto 95 MSNR? Roberto is an exciting and interesting player. Definitely not boring. Ah, this is feckin' hopeless. I don't care what they say. We scored six goals. We're incredible. The best ever. And that's that. We are the best three players in the whole world. Don't worry. I'm here. Patrick. I have filled you, Manjuri. I hate to have to do this, Patrick. Lionel, as you are saying, best 40 players in the world? Is everyone pleased to see me? <coughs> no. For the love of Kirk, not again. Fancy coming out of retirement for your old pal Arsenal? Even with a concussion, I would still never come back to that train wreck of a team. You can always rely on Arsenal players to be on the receiving end of high fives! Oh! That's it! I've had enough! Next year I'm going to manage PSG! Oh shit! Oh shit! Right then, you French fecker. Time to spill the beans. Are you leaving or not, you failing flute? I feel I still have the support of my players. <laughs> you are better at comedy than you are at management, Herr Wenger. Ah, uh, only no two things. One is that I am a ridiculously good-looking version of Ryland Clark. <whistles> the other is that you do not have our support. Oh. Well, at least I still have the support of a lot of our fans. Let's see if you're right. Bring out the fans. Blood, fam, fam, blood, 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 fam, 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 blood, 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 fam, fam, ham roll. Um. What about you, old man? It's shit. F shocking. Spineless. It's time to go. Time to go. See, he says it's time to go. And sign a new contract. You're more feckin' deluded than Jose Mourinho, and I'm sick to death of that Portuguese prick. Oh dear. You all forget what I've done for this club. I haven't together. How dare you not flirt with me? Uh, what I mean is, we'll have none of that on this show. Can you tell us his decision? I need to know so I can announce I'm leaving regardless. Me too. Wenger's big decision is... Right, which of you feckers was controlling that? For feck's sake, I guess we'll never find out if he's given up or not. I'm giving up. Good night. That was feckin' disgusting. What were you thinking, you Welsh flute? Exactly. I based on my tackling on my hero. Must be talking about me. No, a worse tackler even than you. Must be me then. No, even worse than you, Scalzi. What the bejesus are you talking about? There is no worse tackler than Paul Scholes. There is one, and he's my hero. All right then, let's bring out this fecker who inspired Taylor to ruin Coleman's career and give Wales no chance of qualifying. We'll be fine. I'm a one-man team. What are you talking about? You are shit. <gasps> Don't mind if I borrow that, do you, boyo? <laughs> <laughs> Now I don't mind a bit of violence, but spraying a fellow professional with fake tan is a step too far. <gasps> I take offence at your comment and at your abuse of my Portuguese BFF Jose last week. Ah, fake tan and in me beard. Too embarrassing. Must get off screen. Now this is called the Cristiano Ronaldo Show. Sounds terrible. <laughs> So, let's get back to the matter in hand and introduce Neil Taylor's hero. The horrific man who influenced him to tackle so badly. Come on out! It was me. Well done, Taylor. You really Alfie Inga Hallanded him. Eh, uh, no, it wasn't you, Roy. It was Graham Sooners. <laughs> Shut the feck up! I have a reputation to uphold. And get off me set, you permatant prune. Good night.
How did you lose to Big Fat Sam, you advanced hair studio flute? Eh, the fat bastardo gave me a pint of wine before the game. My sponsors suggest you drink a 12-pack of VKD instead. Shut up, you guy-linered goon. Oh. <gasps> if you'd hit the target like that earlier this season, then Ranieri would still have a job. <laughs> On Wednesday, we will beat Chelsea and blow the title race wide open. You have no chance of beating my Chelsea team. City have a weaker defence than Neil Taylor does in his FIFA hearing. You don't manage Chelsea anymore, you sacked sack of shite. And what about you, Patch? Any chance of you saying anything remotely interesting? No, absolutely not. Uh, one game at a time, I'm very happy. He communicates so well. Just like me. We have a question from the audience. Do any of you think my Arsenal will get top four? <laughs> I think they answered for you, specialist in failure. Excuse me, Herr Jose, but you cannot beat West Brom at home, yet he is the failure? <laughs> say that to Jose's face. He literally just did say it to your face. German hair transplant idiot. Uh, there is uh, nothing wrong with the uh, hair transplants. Everyone knows it's not Jose's fault when United don't win. Who is responsible for all these draws then? If not you, you moaning mong. First of all, of course, Luke Shaw. Then referees. Also, linesmen. The crowd at Old Trafford. Ed Woodward. Uh, Alex Ferguson looking down from his f***ing perch. The strikers, not Zlatan or Pogba, obvs. Theresa May, uh, Dr. Eva, my wife, my children, all women, and, of course, Luke Shaw. If your team talks are as boring as that, it's easy to see why you won't make the Champions League, man. You've just made this the most boring right team show ever. Now, flick <laughs> <laughs> Sweet mother of Kirk, I've never seen so much crying in a United shirt. And I've played with that flute, Cristiano. At least this flute has four balladors. What did you say, you little bronze fecker? Uh, nothing. That's what I thought. Interrupt me again, and I'll make your face look like that statue at your airport. Now, back to this whimpering <laughs> langer over there. I just want to play football, but... Jose is always saying things about me behind my back. I've done nothing of the sort. I just make the decisions for you to make life easier. I am the mind. You are the body. Isn't that the right look? Yeah, boss. I mean, no. Just when I thought the bullying couldn't get any worse, he made Fellaini captain. Oh, he's out of control. He's gone mad with power. <laughs> I thought it was a quite a decision. Has he been beating you like an Irish mule? No, it's all just verbal bullying. It's not bullying. It's all in his head. He's just a boy who can't handle a man's job. <laughs> just because you're a boy, it doesn't mean you won't get slapped. But Josie, you know that bullying is wrong. What are you going to do about it, Ginger Nutter? Oh, I won't do anything. I'm just a humble, soon-to-be championship manager, and I don't mean the game, but I know someone who will do something. Da-la-da-la-da! I'm the hero this god-awful show deserves, with my faithful sidekick, Elbow Boy! Look, it's a couple of super zeros! <laughs> Patrick, get these flailing feckers out of here! No, Patrick! We still had so many fights in the tunnel left in us! No one can elbow like Elbow Boy! I disagree. What's happening? I can't control my limbs! Ah, so it's not affecting you at all? <laughs> my limbs are as unresponsive as my defenders! They're useless bastards! <laughs> Just like Minx! They jumped into my elbow. My hero. My hero too. Shut up, Luke. Oh. Ah, the most satisfying one yet. Good night. How 
can you defend that shite performance hazard, you PFA-nominated prune? I was man-marked by the Spaniard. You were shite? Being man-marked is the greatest compliment that can be paid to a player. You didn't even get a shot on target against a team without Zlatan. You embarrass yourself. Was it because Conte wore that embarrassing feckin' cap? It uh, was important. The air they transplanted uh, from uh, my bum hole did not uh, get uh, wet. The special one was victorious against a hair transplant fool. What a surprise! Oh, I deplore arrogance, despite not knowing what the word deplore means. I think we will win the list. Can anybody understand what he just said? Never. We're coming for you! We're coming for you! We're coming for you! Shut up, Harry! You'll bottle it just like last year! I uh, agree with the Chev. Who are you calling a Chav? I didn't know Daniela Westbrook was still alive. What do you think, Pachettino, you barren bastard? Can you win it? One game at a time, we are very happy. We see what happens. Uh, why are you all so barren? What happened to the personalities in football? I'm your boss. Get off me, you French fancy! Uh? I can't handle this anymore. Unless one of you barring feckers does something interesting soon, I'm cancelling this show! Would you like me to show you my abs? Barring! Oh. Anyone else? I have written a book I could read for you. Barring! Uh. Come on, anyone! We will have a fight! That's more like it! Classic coil! Classic keen! Off you go! <laughs> what has this show become? A second rate WWE, that's what. Good night. <laughs> What's it like knowing you're never going to play again, you big nosed <laughs> Swedish meatball? What? Zlatan dares you to be rude to Zlatan again, old man. You mere mortals can argue all you want. Frankly, you shouldn't be sharing the same stage as my genius. <laughs> mere mortal? I am fully resistant to the force. Oh, I wish we were resistant to Messi. <laughs> so you finally admit that Messi is better than you, you permatand pecker. Are you admitting that I'm the goat, Ronnie? Are you? The goat! What the feck are you talking about, you Argentinian steakhouse dick? The goat. It means greatest of all time, old man. For feck's sake. Feckin' children with stupid words. No. Ah, we really missed step meeting like this. I admit it. You scored an important goal, Messi. Two? But I won Ballon d'Or this year, so I must currently at least... Be the goat! Even I know that doesn't make sense, and I'm thick as shit! I'm just hearing from you, producer, that the results of the Twitter poll are in, and that the player voted the greatest of all time, a.k.a. the goat, can now join us on stage. <laughs> For fuck's sake, why do I work with such amateurs? How many times? I'm not at Fleetwood anymore! I would never admit that Messi is better than me, even if he is, which which he may be, but but I would never admit that, not out loud anyway. And certainly not on national TV. Exactly! Ah, oh, stop bleating on! Good night! And if one of you animal loving langers out there dares call the Iris PCA, you'll be getting a little visit from a man with a bat. And not the mammal variety. Now feck off! Surely it's now time to go, you anorexic French croc, madame! Don't test me, Irish terrorist. I've already stormed out of one interview this week. Oh. Let's see if this helps you, Gaelic Sorkin. Bring out. The Argentinian. <laughs> well done on the two nil pots, you barren feck. What have you got to say to the specialist in failure? You were a managerial inspiration to me. Fifteen years ago, when you used to be good. Oh! 
I'm not taking any more of this. Nobody storms off my show except me. <laughs> now sit the feck back down in your feckin' seat. I am sorry, boss. He really is a terrible Irish bully. Oh, I'm the only one you call Boss Vieira. Now, let's take some audience questions. Yes, you, Roiland Clark. What's your question? Boss, why did you play me against Spurs when you know I am absolutely mad at football despite being very handsome? I can't take this anymore. Do that one more time and you'll end up with a concussion so bad you might pick Ramsey for the first team again. Please, God, no. I have a question for Arsene Wenger and this sorry sack of shit players. Patrick, get that salivating striker off me set. Now. And no more questions. And cut to the adverts. I'm sorry, Top 4 Trophy, but I'm just not that into you. What are you talking about, you whining dickwad? It is only the Europa League trophy I want. It is bigger, more phallic, and has a better climax. I still want your top four trophy. Do I have a chance? <laughs> Why are you laughing, football idiots? We would have to play on dry pitches every single week to miss out on the top four trophy and finish behind that Arsenal shite. Why the feck are you fighting over an inanimate object? The top four trophy is everything. She has been mine for 20 years now. In fact... Top four trophy? Will you marry me? Oh! No, it feckin' won't, you long streak of pissy baguette. Oh, my face! A foul, a devil not penalty! Look at my lip! It hit you on the shoulder, you crying Chilean chump. Ah, oh, my shoulder! He hit me on my shoulder with a bat! A foul, a devil not penalty! What just happened makes no sense whatsoever! But then again, I'm thick as shit. For fix sake, once again the show's descended into farce. Look, just tell me, which one of you is going to go home with this top four trophy? Not me, I told you. You're not big enough for me. Not big enough for his ego. <laughs> now that's more like it. Well done with the bespectacled Blitzkrieg. Let me take it home again. I will put you in your special place. Right next to my catheter pouch. Oh, nobody talks about piss on my show except me. My producers say we have a new suitor. Bring him out. I will take this trophy home. After all, I'm the best manager in the world. <laughs> Feck this. You're all shite. I'll never have you on my show again. Until next week anyway. Good night. I have no idea why we have to lift the Premier League trophy on my feckin' show. Uh, because uh, we are the best, uh, and your team, uh, Manchester United, were the worst. Oh! <gasps> <laughs> You're bald like me again now, Conte, you match-fixing motherfucker. <gasps> we'll have none of that language on my mother feckin' show. I only didn't win the Premier League because I decided I prefer Europa League. You're a lying fecker, Mourinho, although I like your aggression with me, bat. Don't talk to my dad like that, Keen. What are you talking about, Terry? Your dad's a drug dealer. I know, because I just bought it. <laughs> ah, shut the feck up, Verdi. I don't want to have come on me back again. Can I lift the trophy now? You? I'm the captain. No, it's my trophy. I got the gold. It will look good in my house in China. No, it's uh, my trophy. I had 19 air transplants for this exact moment. For fuck's sake, is there anyone else who thinks they should lift the trophy? I think Spurs played the best football all season. They should lift it. If injuries didn't count and Mane had been fit, it would have been Liverpool's. I should lift the trophy. I've been trying for longest. I should lift the trophy. <laughs> That's it. The moment Wenger thinks he deserves the Premier League trophy, I know it's gone beyond the pill. Give it here. Oh, I haven't been this close to the trophy since I pissed in it last year.
What the feck are you talking about, you chevy bastard? Someone gave it to me last May. I assumed it was a drugs test, so I pissed in it. Drugs, you say? Let me introduce you to my dad. Somebody cut the power. This show is not for transmission. Good night. Arsenal fans want you out. Spurs and Chelsea fans chant that they want you to stay. Stay! Please stay! So what are you going to do, you stubborn, onion-wearing, undead look-alike? I've decided to do the best thing for Arsenal. You leaving? No, I'm going to stay at Arsenal for two more years. I'm not doing this. I'm leaving right now. Oh, that's a penalty. Definitely a penalty. I get no protection in this country. Shut the feck up, Sanchez, you diving dipstick. I must also leave. I'm sorry, boss, but I can't stay if you do. It's okay. We can do without them. I will build a team around... Rob Holding. <laughs> Will I get more game time next season then, Gaffer? Because if not, I am going to retire and become a male model. Uh. Oh. Uh. Oh, I'm not having that on my show, you effeminate panel chocolate. I just don't understand all the negativity. I'm excited to play in the Europa League. I've never won it before. Oh, I will not have the Europa League mentioned on my show. But the last two episodes have been about me choosing to win the Europa League. Oh. No, they have not. We will never, ever mention that shite Europa League. Ever. Bus, you just mentioned it again. That's twice so far on this episode. Nobody oh. accuses me of lying. You're fired, Vieira. Roy Keane, we're here to section you. You're more mentally unstable than Donald Trump. Oh. Correct. Patrick, help me, Patrick. You're supposed to be me security. You just sacked me, Bess. Oh, hidden the face with me own bat. I'll never lift this down. Cut the feed. You've never held up this big-eared bastard before, Buffon. What makes you think you can this time, you geriatric goalkeeping gimp? You can't call me a big-eared bastard on national television. Not you, Lineker. Although your lug holes are ginormous, and I do doubt the legitimacy of your parents' marriage, I was talking about the trophy. Oh. oh. And that's for the crisp advert with the serial killers. It is my time. I will not let them score, and this beautiful trophy will be mine to make love to. <laughs> that trophy is going nowhere. I have been making love to it for a year now. Why the feck are you all so desperate to stick your peckers in an inanimate object? Because it is so shiny. I can see myself in the reflection as I thrust. Because I am Italian, we invented the making of love. This is fucking ridiculous. At least Benzema likes his with a pulse. I predict we'll win the one nil, and that Ronaldo will cry like a little bitch as I lift the Champions League trophy. Oh! I predict you'll kill over and die because the stadium noise will be too much for your hearing aid to take. <laughs> oh, that was a good one, Ronnie. Very funny. <laughs> oh. <laughs> See, the bitch has started already. <laughs> Jesus wept. I can't handle this shite anymore. I'm retiring. Uh, you said that the other week, boss. And I sat you last week, Patrick. A lot can change in a week, though, can't it? Oh. And you can feck off too, Wenger. Being smug suits you even less than those puffer jackets. Keen out. I'm telling you, I'm not a diver. What Quadrado did to me was practically GBH. Oh. I put it to you, you Spanish springboard, that you're actually the biggest cheat in the history of the Champions League. Oh, oh stop! Why would you do that? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, I'm bleeding, look! Oh, 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 I'm bleeding! Oh, 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 oh. When can I get one of those capsules? They'd really add something extra to my game. There'll be no cheating at my club, Alexis. Oh.
My face, my face, definitely my face again and not my shoulder. I'm leaving Arsenal for that. I would also like one of these blood capsules. They will add something to my S&M games with the other male models. I still at 50,000 euros each. <laughs> and what they don't realize is they're not even blood. <laughs> they obviously do realize that, you great German langer. That's the whole point. Oh, Roy, you just don't understand comedy. If you did, you wouldn't be so angry about Manchester United sixth place this year. <laughs> that doesn't even make sense. But whatever it meant, you're still getting an Irish kiss from my bat. <laughs> oh, he hit me too. Did you see that ref? Oh, he deserves a second yellow. Get keen off the pitch. It's not even a pitch, you complete idiot. If it was a pitch, I'd have scored a couple by now. And there's certainly no more scoring off the pitch for you. Roy, you can't let her say that to see on seven. I score when I want. Hey, that's my chant. He scores when he wants. He scores when he wants. Harry Shine. He scores when he wants. For fuck's sake, another show ruined. I bet Jeremy Kyle doesn't have to put up with this shit. I'm serious, Roy. She can't say that. Bat her to the ground. Oh. Oh, that hit me again. Why always me? Listen here, Cristiano. Roy Keane has done a lot of things in his life, but he will never Alfie Inga Haaland a woman. I'll bring the kid up myself. It'll want for nothing. See you next week as a new dad. What the feck has happened to you, Conte, you fake-haired feck? It has, for sure, been a difficult summer. Difficult? You got a pay rise, a holiday and a new set of hair plugs. What you whining about? You don't even know what difficult means. I'm only on 65 grand a week. I nearly drove my car off the road when I was offered that kind of money. Feck off, you cheating playboy Cole. You should never have broken the heart of the most beautiful member of Girls Aloud. I always fancied the ginger one. Will somebody give him a feckin' slap? <laughs> you blind bastard. You think you guys have it bad? Liverpool won't even let me sign for Barca. Hey, Phil, that's unfair. I will let you sign for them for sure. Just not right now or any time in the next five years. Or actually ever. <laughs> I get it, Coutinho, that's bad. But Conte lost at home to Burnley. That's unforgivable. What is unforgivable is my board selling Matic to Man United without my permission. Antonio, keep your hair on. <laughs> Uh, I'm suffocating! Help me! Help me! <laughs> this is my worst nightmare! Suffocated by two advocates of the Bulgravia Hair Clinic! Somebody! Somebody! Help me! <laughs> and that's for not believing in me, you Puerto Rican prick! There you go, boss. I, I mean, Narinia. You call other man a hair boss, you get hit around the face with Argentinian state. That's what I'm fucking talking about. A manager who knows how to treat his players. You could learn a thing or two from him, can't you? You Italian pussy. You'll regret that. <gasps> and as for beating us last year, and there'll be more where this came from at Wembley next Sunday. Yeah. Mamma mia. Join us next week for all the fallout from the Spurs Chelsea game. And I'm not talking about Conte's hair. What the feck are you talking about, Mourinho, you feckin' langer? I told you, I'll let the horses run free. Oh, I didn't think you could get any more arrogant, but now you claim to be a racehorse trainer as well? No, not a trainer. A horse whisperer. You see, my players, they are like stallions. What the f- is this a gloating idiot talking about now? Oh, here we go. I gave that man my old job and he belittles my abilities as an animal whisperer. So now you're claiming you gave the fake-haired langer your job? Sorry, boss, but that's just not true. We got you sacked after you were mean to Dr. Ava. 
who I was definitely not attracted to, as she was not the wife or girlfriend of my teammate. I don't even know why we are talking about uh, anything other than my uh, tactical masterclass at Wembley. Parking the bush is not a tactical masterclass! Haha, <laughs> mister, just like Gary Kane over and over again on Sunday. Hitting the post counts as an optus shot on target. I disagree with what Pochettino says. Parking the bus is an art form. Yeah, I did not dare park the bus. Uh, oh. You did park the bus, you darn me old dick. It was feckin' boring as sin. Uh, who cares? They won. Sometimes parking the bus is the only way. Oh. I will back anyone who likes to park the bus. It's a feckin' disgrace. Go on, who else wants a hit? Did somebody call for me? Fuck this. This show is over the moment the fat manager sings. It's time to pull the plug. Teen out. Next week, the first episode of The Big Sam Show, where I'll be seeing which of these footballers can drink a pint of wine the quickest. <laughs> oh, I'll change my mind. See you next week. So, Wenger, you skinny fucking flute. You told me researchers you wanted to come on the show to make a big announcement. Let me guess. You finally worked out how to zip up a puffer jacket. <laughs> Are you announcing that you're letting me out of my torturous contract worth an insulting £150,000 a week? It's true, I have a big announcement. One I've been mulling over for a long time now. When you say a long time, do you mean ever since we embarrassed you for nil at the weekend? Oh, boss, that was a real burn from Clap there. Will you all let the lanky streak of piss speak? I have come here to this very respectable talk show to reveal... Oh. I will not have my show called respectable. Take it back. Oh, I apologize. Now get on with it, you French fancy. I can reveal that I am resigning as manager of Arsenal Football Club. Thank you for your kind applause. That shows how good you thought I was at my job. We were applauding because you have, for the first time, shown that you are not completely stupid. Now, according to me, feckin' producer, who is rudely talking in my ear, that's not your only announcement, is it? Correct. I have also chosen my successor as Arsenal manager. Well, it worked when Man United let Sir Alex do it. Why shouldn't he? Ah, fuck off, Moise! You're addicted to being shite, and worse still, you're ginger! Nothing wrong with being ginger, King! I'm taking over the show! Now, Wenger, you motherfucking idiot! Tell us who you've chosen as your ill-advised successor! Let me go and get him! <gasps> Wenger! What the f- what are you doing here? I am not Arsene Wenger. I am the new Arsenal manager, Barson Wenger. <laughs> I take it back. You're more stupid than ever. F*** this! Ooh. Get off me, Seth! You two can play at that game. McGregor's second beatdown in a couple of days. See y'all next week. Money kicked him in the head. It is a sending off kind of story. <laughs> of course you would say that, but... He did not kick him. More, as we say in the motherland, a gentle brush of the studs. Guardiola, you Spanish spoon! What the feck are you talking about? Red card for that? He didn't even Alfie Yinga Haaland him! <laughs> okay, Keen, you say very funny things. Shame you were so terrible at managing yourself. Otherwise, maybe you'd understand. Say that again, Baldy. I feckin' dare ya. Ah, okay, okay, everyone. Calm down. I know I've been away with the hernia, but this is getting ridiculous. Fact. What the feck are you doing here? You've never been on this show before. This is a show where you deal with problems, no? Well, I have a hernia. This is, without doubt, the strangest TV program I've ever seen. <laughs> and they've once had a David Hasselhoff show in Germany. <laughs> Roy, from what I've seen, I thought I could say something incendiary to you. Then you could hit me in the stomach with your bat and my hernia would explode. With pleasure, you obese feckin' wearer. Ah, ah, thank you, Senor King. I didn't even have to say anything mean to provoke you. Uh, ah, much 
Oblige the phone you handled a club that will, as a manager. <laughs> oh. Get to feck! It's a bat, not a club! You sterling loving stink whore! Anyone else want a baton? Roy, I just wondered, would you bat Mark Hughes for me? He told me to f off during our game and I'm very upset. Oh. Absolutely not, you feckin' grass! That's it! Pull the plug! This show has been worse than that last time I said to pull the plug on it! Just do it, will ya? So, you finally found someone to take your caster. Guess I'd let it go, Phil, for that fake passport of yours again. You know, the one that says you're not 55 years old? <laughs> uh, I tell you, Simeon, this man is the biggest fraud the going. It's okay, Diego. Conte is just jealous that we both have our own hair and a clean corruption record. All right, you Mediterranean morons. This is getting so boring, I'm going to have to ask for questions from the audience. Yeah, Diego, just wondering if you're leaving your wife behind at all. Take Terry out, Patrick. He's not even a top-level player anymore. Can't have him piping up like that. Um, actually, John, my wife thinks she's single again now. You can have her if you just recommend me a good eye doctor. Ow! This is getting beyond ridiculous. Has anyone got any serious questions for these eejits? Yeah, Jago, who's your agent? He's looking for a new one, and your agent getting nearly £70 million pounds for you with nothing sort of miraculous. <laughs> I'm fed up with this abuse. Diego Cote is a top goal scorer and is also... Really fat? <laughs> Oversensitive when it comes to receiving text messages. <laughs> and don't forget that he looks like a gorilla from the film Gorillas in the Mist with Sigourney Fever! <laughs> oh, not again! Okay! So not every joke is gold star standard. After last week's debacle, I didn't think things could get any worse. But this show was absolute shite. I'm not sure I can take this anymore. Welcome to the Tom Asshole Muller Comedy Show. Wait, no, no, wait, please. God damn, I really must work on better jokes for next time. Knock, knock. Who's there? Good night.